To work with scripts and code in ImageJ, we'll use the script editor tool. The script editor is more than just a simple text editor. It has built-in tools to help you write your code. First, you can open the script editor via File, New, Script, or use the shortcut, which is the left bracket key. Then you can choose a language. The script editor supports multiple languages that are listed here, which include Beanshell, Clojure, Groovy, the ImageJ1 macro language, Java, JavaScript, Python, R, Ruby, and Scala. After that, you can go ahead and start writing your scripts. Let's take a look. So again, to open the script editor, you can go to File, New, Script, or just hit that left bracket key. And here's the script editor. So the next thing we do again is to choose a language. So we have a drop-down language. In this case, we're going to focus on the ImageJ1 macro language. And I'm just going to paste some old code in here. This is just a sample, a sample script um, that will use the open samples image called blobs. Just set a simple threshold, create a mask, and then count those particles therein. So you'll notice right away that everything is syntax highlighted. It's colorized. These colors indicate the different pieces of code and what they are. For example, a function versus a string versus a number. There's also now automatic code completion. So when you start typing, it basically guesses what function you are looking for. It speeds up the process and helps reduce typos. So it's a great tool to lean on. I also want to highlight the built-in language specific templates that are available to you. So you go to templates and they're all hidden in here. They are great foundations for writing scripts. One that I would like to highlight is for batch processing. It's called Process Folder. There are three different versions, one written in Python, Groovy, and then the ImageJ1 macro language. And that's the one that we will look at right now. So this guy basically allows you to scan folders and subfolders and files to process individual images with a certain suffix. In this case, a TIFF, TIFF files. And then you put your code in here, and it basically does the batch processing for you. This is a great skeleton to use. So once you are happy with your scripts, you can then run them directly here in the script editor by clicking Run. You can also save your scripts as well once you've got everything working to your liking. So you can actually add your scripts to the plugin menu of your Fiji installation. To do so, you save your script file in ImageJ.app scripts um, in the scripts folder, and you make a folder therein called plugins with a capital P. You can also make subfolders there. It's important to note that the script name needs to end in the supported script, ex script extension. So for example, .bsh for bean shell, or .ijm for the ImageJ1 macro language. The script name should also contain an underscore character. Once you save your files here, you can find and run your scripts via the search bar. Just make sure to save duplicates in case you have to uninstall or reinstall your Fiji or Im ImageJ installation. You could lose all of those scripts if you save them only here. Happy scripting!